Happy Valentine's Day from this big old kid. Oh, You're so good at that. Where are we going? We're going to Disney World? Are you serious? First of all, isn't this Valentine's Day outfit adorable? Second of all, Sarah demanded we stop because we walked past Sci-Fi and just smell it smelled here. the restaurant. And that's just like one of my like childhood Disney memories. Alright, parks are a little busy too. Yeah. We almost didn't even get in. Right, we got these passes like literally less than an hour ago. Like we literally got them and, and like, decided to go. There was no, and I checked about an hour before you did and there were none. All right. four didn't have any. Yeah. So I, I think we're going to go to Epcot. But we just decided to stroll in yeah, here. Weirdly first. enough, we got this was this was available. Well, we had to. So like, we got the pass here, and we're gonna we right. There was in. no Epcot available. Gonna do like a half lap because it is busy. Yeah. And then park hop over to Epcot. Yeah. Which is open till eleven. Eleven. Ooh. Are you kidding me? He hasn't taken a good nap yet, so the idea is he's gonna fall asleep. I brought my hat because I got a haircut, but it's, the wind is kind of crazy. <laughs> so we didn't put up a vlog today. We were supposed to go to the Kenny Space Center yesterday, but... We were so excited. We kind of woke up a little late, but then by the time we woke up late, we realized how the weather was going to be. And Kennedy Space Center right now is open, the visitor complex, but it's only open for six hours, from 10 to 4. We live over an hour away. We, best case, would have gotten there at noon. So it would have been four hours, and then it was projected to be like 80% rain, chance of rain. So we chose not to go. But what that turned into <laughs> is just having us like a snuggly day at home, not we doing- We didn't even pack. Like, we didn't pack. We were just like- We didn't do the dishes. Bodies. yeah. We just hung out together. Yeah. We didn't even like watch any, like all these movies. Like I probably played with James like the most, which has been good because work's been so busy. And then he's been like sleeping. That like, I haven't had so much. I need to put my head out. Look at this nonsense. So that's why we didn't put up a vlog yesterday. It was a really good day. It was. It was sad because we really wanted to go to Kennedy Space Center, but we weren't upset with how the day went. I'll so. say we'll make it back, but we're not going to make it there before we move. It is a bummer we didn't get to go, yeah. but we're headed over to Epcot. We're on Epcot, so we can't be too sad. Yeah. It's funny is today almost ended up being like that too. We did get out later, and we had other plans that changed. Guess we couldn't, couldn't wait for Just Epcot. Couldn't wait. We had to get in the carrier. So. Yeah. We're going to be cozy Valentine's. All right, I didn't want to switch on the other lens just for this, but we just got the World Showcase. It's looking busy still, but if you look right there, one of the arms is extended on one of the new floats for uh, Harmonious. Exciting. Look at this precious angel. Let's see how long this lasts. Hopefully it lasts a while. Yeah. But he's trying to make the whole walk over, right? right. When you walk into the World Showcase. He was lulled to sleep. He just so has so much magic. peace when he's here. He was right to sleep. We should change his name to Epcot Center Brookhart. Oh yeah. So our tradition for Valentine's Day is always to make pancakes. And I got supplies earlier. I think we're gonna finally watch one of these movies from Studio Ghibli tonight when uh, we eat our pancakes for dinner. We're still in the Japan Pavilion, checking out the sakis and teas. And hiding from rain. And hiding from rain. But look at this plum wine. That looks delicious, I've never had it. Yeah. They have a cute little Valentine's situation over here. So we're in the American Pavilion checking out the Soul of Jazz and American Adventure. All these different displays. And I think when these guests walk away, I can show you a very special trumpet from a very special artist. Oh, look what Sarah spotted. Chicago, a musical migration. Uh-oh. I don't know. 
he says. It was a change of atmosphere, I think. This was a Louis Armstrong Satchmo. One of his trumpets. This horn was once held and played by the legendary Louis Satchmo Armstrong. It's believed Armstrong played this particular trumpet while recording the album Disney Songs The Satchmo Way. We had our first dance to Satchmo's version of Love, Love You and Rose. So, very cool. This is parenting in Disney World with a newborn child. Uh -huh. We have only made it to the American Pavilion. Mm -hmm. We've been here for about two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. And the majority of the two and a half hours has been spent in the American Pavilion, feeding, the, feeding James, changing a very poopy diaper, and feeding him again. Yeah. Hey. But we think... It was the perfect place to be in this scenario. Yeah. Plenty of seating. <gasps> but we think he might be ready to go. Yeah. And the rain might actually be done. And. We need to get something to eat. Yeah, I'm stuck. We're in Germany. They have like gotten some new, what are these called? Steins. Steins. Wait, let me see Santa. Ooh. I feel like I need this for just like the holiday season. Yeah? Yeah, like every I November mean, 1st. I mean, what I got you for Christmas, I wanted it to be like a start of a collection. Yeah, this is a really nice one too. Yeah. And like the pewter on top. I love it. The horse drawn carriage there. We're grabbing Pop Eat for the first time this festival. We got the shrimp ceviche with mint fry, the French onion soup with grilled cheese, and then one of my favorites from this festival is the almond. Cake. So good. So yeah. We might get some deconstructed as well. But we also are Never still know. having dinner. Right. So, like, our tradition ever since living in Florida was to get pancakes and watch fireworks. So, when we get home, we're going to make the pancakes and we're going to watch fireworks on YouTube. Um, so we don't want to get too, too full, but this will just determine how many pancakes we make. I usually go on the side of about 35, so. There's cute little shrimp in here, and sometimes it's stuff like this where I'm like, I don't, I want to be vegan again, because like, it's a cute little shrimp. That was probably a cute little shrimp when it was alive. The question is how much of this is going to go on my son's head. Wow. Good? Worth, <laughs> worth the cute little shrimp? It's we love ceviche. The last time we had it was from Pete's fresh, fresh Market. It's the freshest thing I've ever eaten in Epcot. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm walking through Pete's. Like when you smell all the, um, what does SpongeBob do? The photosynthesis. Uh -huh. like when you're walking past all the produce, it's like in my body right now. Alrighty, we're headed out. What a lovely night. It's, it's just nice knowing it's open until 11, even though we're not going to be here until 11. Even though Sarah says we're heading out like we're parked right here. Uh, we got to walk to studio. <laughs> it's going to be a fun walk, but it's like pros and cons, baby. Pros and cons. Sarah put this on, and I love this, and it also gives me anxiety from years of getting ready to work third shift. I, I would listen to this when I would hop in the shower and get ready for work. Listen, if you've been watching our vlogs for more than probably five days, you know at the root of Sarah and Peter Brookhart is just unadulterated 
stubbornness. So yes, it is 10.58 at night, but we make pancakes and watch fireworks on Valentine's Day. So, pancake supplies, John L. does not go in there. But pancake supplies, an amazing griddle. 11 o'clock at night with fireworks on. Wow. And we are ready. This is 100% animal product included pancake batter. Can I try it? Yeah, sure you weirdo. Is it too sweet? It's salty. It's salty? Mm-hmm. It's really salty. No, it tastes fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Second firework show. Here we go, cooking away. Feeling good. So this really isn't fireworks, but it's a nighttime spectacular with fireworks. And it's the best. So we're gonna watch Fantasmic next. But beware. This maple syrup is straight from Quebec, eh? Yeah. Guys, the our our coffee table is a mess. Look at all those pancakes. Oh gosh. Is that for me and you together? Nope. Get together. Jamesy boy is sleep eating, but I wanted to show um, the cute little onesie that his grandma sent him. All heart. So he's all festive and cozy. Also, the pancakes are super, super good. They have saltiness to them, but just enough saltiness. <gasps> oh, yes. There's no greater show in the face of the planet of the Earth. Illuminations. Reflections of Earth. Our last firework show of the night. Check it out. 1240, I want to do the message. And head on to bed. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It is, is this the right month? It's February 14th, halfway through the month. Vincent Van Gogh. What is done in love is done well. So I was kind of pulling at my heartstrings. She's moved on from the old nighttime spectaculars to a bunch of old vlogs when we first moved here. Which, like, Sarah's pointing out, like, that's the reason why we did them is to cherish the memories. But I'm like, I think it's, like, maybe not right now, maybe not right now because Your my heartstrings are getting pulled. We literally watched the vlog right now that was, like, our last day in Great Movie Ride, which was, like, two weeks after we moved here. I'm like, Sarah, we're watching the vlog two weeks after we moved here, two weeks from us moving away. Like, that might be a little too hard right now. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We love you guys. We do love you guys and all of our adventures. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.